is Mr. Evil Cheese, and this is an extremely drunk review of the Star Wars Black Series 6 inch scale Princess Leia Organa action figure made by Hasbro. Holy shit. Now look at that. You can see the little picture there. Oh my goodness. And then there's the actual figure. And if any of you have been following this figure's production, you know that an earlier picture of this figure showed her face and it just looked really bad. It looked like the uh looks like that one military lady from the fifth element. I don't know if you know who I'm talking about, but I'll post a picture. It looked like her. And people complained and they were supposed to fix it up and I think they did fix it up a little bit. Still I don't think it looks exactly like Carrie Fisher as Leia in a new hope. But I think they did fix it up a little better than what the previous picture showed. And of course, he's got the cloth outfit, which I was really not happy with when I first saw this announced, especially after seeing the A New Hope Luke Skywalker's outfit. I did not like that at all. But I think this Leia using the real cloth is better than that Luke was. Still, I don't know which I'd prefer, either cloth or plastic on this Leia. I do like this better than that Luke, I think. But we'll have to open it up and see. And there you can see the picture, season number 30. And there's a description on the back if you want to pause it and read it. And you can see her picture's blown up there. And let's open her up. Okay, so there she is opened up. And I don't know, I don't think this figure is perfect. But there's just something about it having it just standing there like that. I don't know. It just I I just I don't, I don't know. I like having it. It it's cool getting completing the A New Hope set. I don't know. There's something that's right about this figure. I mean, I, I would prefer it to look a little more like her, but I don't know. I think I kind of like the cloth. I mean, usually I don't like the cloth, but I. I don't know. I mean, I'm like I said, I'm really, really drunk at the moment. So maybe I'm not thinking clearly. But I think that just... If you look at her in a movie, the cloth is really... Her, the clothes she's wearing is really, really baggy. And this is, it's the way it is in this figure. The main problem that I would have with this one is the face. I just... I think it's better than their original preview pictures, their prototypes. I think it would have been done better. I think her face is like too wide or something. Because Carrie Fisher, like, I don't know. She just has like sign of kind of a skinny face. I don't know. But this seems too wide. But still, I think overall this figure is fairly decent for a Black Series figure. And I think, it'll f I think it will fit in pretty well with the other Black Series 6 inch figures from A New Hope. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy that I'm glad they finally they finally came out with this version. I really think for Princess Leia, the bun haircut is her most well-known look. So they definitely needed to make this figure. Like I think it should have been first. It should have been before Slave Leia. It should have been before the Boosh disguise Leia from Return of the Jedi. This should have been the first. And now they came out with it, and. I mean, it's not super amazing, like, like, it's hard to pick which way it would be better, the cloth or the plastic for her clothes, but they went with the cloth, and I don't know, I think it's alright. It's not horrible, it's not super amazing, but it, you know, it is what it is, it works. It's, that's really a tough call for which way to go with this figure. So they would have made her all cloth, you know. Her legs would have like no articulation. Same with Luke. Luke had super baggy clothes in A New Hope. So they went with the cloth and like I can't really blame them because it'd be weird to make that loose cloth out of plastic. Bandai sort of pulled it off, but still. It's still it's just a tough choice. Now the main problem with this being made out of cloth is it bunches up in places that it shouldn't. Like right there. You can see it's just bunches up there and it looks weird. I might be able to adjust it to make it not do that. But 
mine don't seem to mine just seems to want to bunch up right there like she's got some kind of weird growth going on inside of her <laughs> so that, that's the one problem with having it made out of cloth if it was made out of plastic it wouldn't be doing that sort of thing but still it adds for lots of articulation because she's got double jointed knees double jointed elbows so lots of articulation on this figure if you want it and that's what's good about the cloth and it is a really thin material you can't get too much thinner than this yeah I don't, I don't know if there's a better material they could have used but and this seems to work as well as it could like I said there's the face I don't think it's perfect I mean most well, definitely not perfect it doesn't exactly look like Carrie Fisher it's just a certain angle so you can kind of see her maybe but overall the face is just like too round something's wrong with the eyes the nose the mouth everything something's just not right about this figure even the hair is just not right I mean they got the buns but something just isn't right on the face sculpt I think they could have done a lot better job on it maybe you could maybe for the face part it could have just been the paint but I think the sculpt is off too so I don't know I prefer a better face I mean the paint of the eyes on straight and the eyebrows the lips they're all painted on straight and nice it's just overall it doesn't look like her that's what bothered me and as for the rest of the sculpt mostly all you see is the belt over top of the cloth because the cloth covers almost everything other than her hands and the tips of her boots so that's another reason why I don't know if I like the cloth because the cloth just covers too much blocks out the sculpt but there you see the belt it's white and then it's got some silver parts painted on there looks cool it looks like you can probably unsnap that there and you can see her hands not a whole lot to look at really and there's her boots oh yeah and if you lift her, her dress up she's got for some reason bare legs I don't know why they just didn't make them white but they made him skin color and it just looks kind of funny <laughs> but whatever whatever they want to do and I'm not sure what's going on up above there it looks like it's all white up underneath of there I never took it off all the way she comes with two accessories she comes with that little tiny gun that you probably recognize her having they did a pretty decent job on that weapon I would say it looks pretty good finger fits into the, the trigger area very nicely and also she comes with the stormtrooper gun which is cool because she uses one of them I'm not sure if you can get her finger into the trigger area or not it doesn't look like it'll reach up there but I think you can get her hand onto yeah you can get her to look like she's holding it with both hands which is cool so I do like that. So that's pretty cool. Now articulation should be pretty good. Should be as good as any of the Black Series figures because she has double jointed elbows and double jointed knees. And because of the cloth, it's not gonna hinder anything really. So you can see her head can spin all the way around. You can look up and down. The torso can spin. Go back and forth. The shoulders. Go up, out, spin, double jointed elbows, spin at the wrist, and there's a hinge there. And then down at the hips, go out to like that, kick out, then you got the double jointed knees, and down at the ankles, you got the little pivot and the hinge joint so the articulation on this figure is in line with the best of the six inch black series figures it's just got pretty much everything that you'd want to do with it so that's pretty cool and as for outfit you can have the hood down or you can put the hood up so that's pretty cool it doesn't look perfect when the hood's up but it I guess it looks all right for me, I'm going to prefer it down, because I like to see the little buns on her head. 
And there's the new a new hope layer next to the return of the Jedi slave layer. And I think the face on this one looks way more like Carrie Fisher than this one does. But uh, I don't know. A lot of people don't really don't like this figure and I don't think it's as bad as they say. It's got some problems, but I I don't think it's just that bad. I think it's all right. It's not perfect, but I think it's all right. I added the chain here. This, it came with a plastic chain. I added the real chain. But yeah, I, th I think this one, the face sculpt and paint, is just better a better likeness to Carrie Fisher than this one is. And there's a new Hope Leia next to Leia in her boosh disguise. And still, I think this one looks a little more like Carrie Fisher. But this one's just a little more off. Like, I think, I think out of the three... The Slave Leia looks most like her in the face. And the heights are different too. Like These two are about the same height. This this one's a little taller. I don't know what happened there. But, yeah. I mean, I think I think it's cool they made this one. It just, I don't think it looks like her in the face very much. And there's the A New Hope Leia next to the A New Hope. It's, it's, it's weird to say, A New Hope. There's the A New Hope. Whatever. But there's the, you know, A New Hope, <laughs> Episode 4, Luke and Leia next to each other. Way before anybody knew they were brother and sister. Hey, sexy. Hey, sexy. We should have sex. Sex right now. But what if we're brother and sister? Nope. Nope. That, ain't, that could never happen. You can see their cloth is way different. This... Leia's cloth is more flexible. His is a little more stiff. I think his would have been better if it was made out of this material. And there's Leia next to her... Whoa! Her dead boyfriend! Han Solo. And he's quite a bit taller than her. But that's the way he should be. And there's Leia putting the Death Star plans into R2-D2. And as many people have said before... R2-D2 seems to be a little small on the Black Series. I think maybe he should have been a little bigger. I mean, if you compare it to the picture, it just looks like he's bigger. One problem with this Leia is if you squat her down in that same position, it's just like that white of her leg wants to show. And it just... Her bottom part of her dress, skirt, whatever, should be covering all that. So you gotta kind of adjust it to make that happen. Yeah, I think R2-D2 should be a little bigger. They just didn't make it big enough. And there's the entire A New Hope gang, hero gang, together. So it's really cool to finally get the official Black Series 6 inch A New Hope group all together. I mean, you got Obi Wan, you got Luke, Leia, Han, C3PO, R2D2, Chewbacca. So that's really freaking cool. I've been really, really been waiting on this to happen. And even though not all the figures are perfect, it's still cool to get them all in this particular series. And here's Princess Leia next to Darth Vader. This is actually my Emperor's Wrath Darth Vader where I painted his helmet a glossy black instead of the see-through purple plastic they used. Just because the sculpt was better on that one. But seeing these two together really makes me wish they made a Grand Moff Tarkin figure. He's a really cool villain from that first movie, and he deserves a figure. He's one of the ones that I left out accidentally on my top 10 figures they should make for the Star Wars 6 Inch Black series. You can see that video. He should have at least been a runner-up, but I kind of forgot about him somehow. But yeah, he's he's a main character that from that first movie that definitely should have a figure, so I hope they make him eventually. He'd really fit in with these two. Because they have a lot of memorable scenes together. So, for the most part, I like this figure. I don't think it's perfect. I think it has problems. But for the most part, I like it. I'm glad they made it. I'm glad it's finally out. The main problem that I have with it is her face. Like, I still think her face and head and hair could be better. It could look more like how she's supposed to look. It's just, it's still just off. They improved it from the original preview pictures, but it's still just not right. I think if that was there, I could overlook everything else. But, it's not there. 
Now, as for other things, like the cloth, it's, it's a really hard call on that cloth. I mean, should they make it out of plastic or should they make it out of cloth? Because it's really loose. In the movie, the clothing she's wearing is so loose that if they made it out of plastic, I don't know if it would work. And then it really hinder her articulation also. But being that they did use cloth, the articulation is really good. She's got double jointed elbows, double jointed knees. All the other articulation is not hindered at all by her outfit. So that is really good. So for the most that's why for the most part I say this figure is good. And it's really awesome to complete the A New Hope hero group. Like you got everybody now. So that's really awesome. So this is Mr. Evities. Thanks for watching and goodbye. So Leia, what would Invader and the Empire do? They destroyed my whole planet of Odoron. Oh, well, damn. That sucks. You don't you don't seem that upset about it. Oh, no, not really. I, I was at first, but I, uh, I don't really care anymore. That was like an hour ago, maybe. I'm over it. Don't give a shit about that. You'd think I'd be grieving or something, but nah, whatever. Can someone get this walking carpet out of my way? <laughs> damn, Chewbacca, what are you doing? He's a Wookiee, Luke. I told you, you don't make Wookiees angry. She did. She called him a walking carpet. I wouldn't do that. Not a smart thing to do. Uh, 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 uh. Do Wookiees got nards? What? No, he's not human. Wookiees don't got nards. Oh, really? Wookie's got nards! Oh damn it man! You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or you can subscribe and eat! Ooh.